This is part of a problem solving series in investments. Today we will have a look at problem 13 in chapter 2 from the 10th edition of our textbook. Here's a view of this problem. This is actually quite a simple problem. It's also very short. An investor is in the 30% tax bracket and a corporate bond currently offers 9% return or rate of return. So if we still would like to prefer the municipal bond over the corporate bond, if you will, how much should that municipal bond offer to us as a rate of return so that we would prefer the municipal bond rather than the corporate bond? So in terms of uh, decision making on which investment to prefer, investors would simply look at the after-tax returns on their investments. So all we now do is that the after-tax rate of return for the corporate bond should be definitely less than uh, the after-tax rate of return for the municipal bond, but we know that municipal bonds are tax-free, federal tax-free uh, investments. So therefore, we do not have to specify if it's after tax or before tax. There's no need for that. The rate of return, which is generic rate of return for the municipal bond and um, tax implications will not affect the municipal bond directly. So for us to prefer the municipal bond, it must be that the rate of return of the municipal bond exceeds that of the corporate bond after tax. Well, because the company is in the 30% tax bracket, 30% of um, after, um, after deducting the 30% from our uh, yield, which is 9%, 9 I should have said here. So let me make a correction here. So 9%. So that's simply your left hand side and that number should be definitely less than the rate of return of the municipal bonds, huh? municipals, and that would simply yield 6.3%. Um, so therefore the rate of return for the municipal bond should be at least um, 6.30% for investors to prefer municipal bonds over corporate bonds. So that solves our problem. Hope to see you in our next video.